this is actually a great strategy, um, especially when dealing with you know double digit by by double digit or triple digit by double digit. Uh, but once you go past that, the strategy starts to get pretty inefficient, as you'll see. But one thing that fourth graders work on, and that they've done in third grade as well, is that they know any factor pair. Let's say I'm going to do a factor pair of four by th four times three. We know that equals twelve. And in geometry, this is also length times width equals area. So they can use this idea to actually solve multiplication problems. And one way they start that is that they'll just make a rectangle. You know, okay, this is let's say that this is four, so it's four rows, and this is three, so three columns, and they could count these either you know four, eight, twelve or 3, 6, 9, 12. And they know that there's 12 square units inside of this rectangle. So that's the principle that we're going to be using, so area equals 12, um, for the area model, except we, we just build on this idea. So what we do, and I'm actually going to erase this, just in case we need the room, and what they're going to do is they're going to choose either factor to go on top or bottom, it doesn't really matter. and so let's say I'm going to do 73 on top. So I'm going to make my rectangle. I know, okay, and obviously this is not going to be to scale, um, but all we have to do is we just pick apart each place value of each factor and separate them out. So I know that 70 plus 3 still equals 73. So I'm going to do a 70 and a 3. And I'm just going to roughly, some kids just draw this straight down the middle. It doesn't really matter. I still like to know, you know, I know 70 is a lot longer than 3. And this, again, isn't to scale, but I at least like to have my longer line be the, the larger number. Um, so here's 73, and it's by 47. So here's my 40, and here's my 7. And then I split these apart. So now what I've done is, if I find the area of this rectangle, this rectangle, this rectangle, this rectangle, add them all together, I'm going to find the area of a 73 by 47. And now, again, we work a lot on multiplying by multiples of 10. So a lot of times, the, this is just a real quick mental math exercise. So the one thing that students get tripped up on is making sure that they understand that, oh, what's the length of each of these sides? Well, they know enough about rectangles that they should be able to figure that out, that if this line is 70, then the opposite side must be 70 as well. This is 70. 7, 7, 7, 3, 3, 3, 40, 40, 40, and so forth. And that's going to help them make sure that they, they're still multiplying the length and width by each rectangle. So we know that 4 times 7 is 28. There's two zeros in the factors, so I'm going to add my two zeros. Because again, this is 10 times bigger than 4, this is 10 times bigger than 7, so 70 by 40 is 100 times bigger than what 7 times 4 is, so that's 2,800. This is a 40 by 3. 4 times 3 is 12, with the zeros 120. This one was 7. 7 times 7 is 49, with the zero from, this, from that factor is 490. And then 7 times 3 is 21. Now, I've got this, the area of the 40 by 70, the area of the 40 by 3, the 7 by 70, and the 7 by 3. So if I add all these together, I'll have my answer. Now, they can they don't need to have it add in any particular order. They can go diagonal, they can go across, whatever they need to do. Um, a lot of kids typically go across because then they set it up as an addition algorithm. So I know 2,800 plus 120 is 2,920. And then 490 plus 21, oops, I'm just going to put my plus right here, is going to be 511. I'm going to add those up. And I get my answer of 3,431.